Not all of us have access to the professional versions of SketchUp. Professional versions will allow you to import DXF files output from programs like GCAD Plus. But there may well come a time when for some reason or another you'd like to use the free SketchUp modeler of, to form a 3D version of your design. What I want to demonstrate now is how to prepare an image in GK Plus ready for importation into the free SketchUp. And to do that, it's a matter of going to Tools and Make Raster. And what I'm going to do is export this front garden area at a resolution of 300 dots per inch. That'll give me a size in pixels of 4,800 by 3,000, which will be quite high resolution. And I'm going to pick a rectangle. So I'll say pick, then I'll zoom out and just pick a rectangle around the area that I want. But I'm being careful to include the scale bar, and I hope you see the reason for that in a moment. So we'll say OK. And GK Plus saves that. It's going to save it to a file called Front S Export 300. So we'll OK it. Now we can move from GK Plus into, we'll use the free version of SketchUp. And what I've done is place the image file. And you may be able to see that if I use the distance tool and I'll zoom right in on our scale bar, and measure the distance from one side to the other, I get near enough to five meters, which is what I'm after. Let's demonstrate how that was done. I will go edit, undo. I use the scale, then we'll go edit and Im undo importing that 2D graphic. So my first step was to set the plan view. That's this little move to the top view. Then I went to the camera and turned on parallel projection. Then I got hold of the hand tool and then just dragged things down like so. Then I went file import and front export 300 dots per inch and was able to place the design. And I'm just going to drag up like that. I'll zoom in on the scale bar use my measure tool and measure from one side of the scale bar to the other. And I need that to be to read 5,000. So in this case, I'm over. I need to scale down by a factor of 5,000 over 58901. So I'll drop down 8901 and I'll scale by 5,000 over 8901. I'm aiming to get the image reflecting real measurements. Well, I've pulled my calculator out and worked out that that scale that's required is 0.561. To use the scale tool, it's tools and scale. And you need to move to the top right corner and move down diagonally and notice down in the status line, 0.87 and so on. So I can now type. You don't need to click into that scale box. You just type the value, 0 0.561, and hit Enter. And, and it's in hitting Enter that uh, the scale operation takes place. Go back to the Object Selection tool and pick it. Now what we're going to do is pan across and see if our measurement tool gives a value relatively close. We're not too fussed about the level of accuracy here, but 4981, I'm very happy with that. So what we have here is a base plan that's come out of GK+, complete with all the information on planting and so on, that will enable us to work with this. You might prefer that operation to take place on a layer you might want to call that image. And then you might want to create other layers so that you can start placing elements down. So I'll make another layer uh, and I'll call this porch. And 
hit enter, I'll make that the current layer. You could, if you know your SketchUp skills, of course you can select the image itself and move it to the image layer, but we won't do that for the moment. So I've got a layer called Porch. If I zoom in on the porch area, there's a path that comes up here, a step up to the path. So, um, in fact, I'll make another area, another layer rather, called uh, Front Path. And let's, let's make that one current. And then I'll just take the Rectangle tool, which is rotated. Here's the rectangle, and I can set the path like so. I've made the front path the current layer, so the information goes on there. So I can put another rectangle down on the porch. Let me zoom in, and we're done. Now I'll go into 3D view and I'll put my camera back to perspective. Now what I want you to see is how easy it is. Let's say the porch is raised up by 300 millimeters. It's a matter of picking the push-pull tool. And here it is. You can easily pick that porch, move it up by 300. And we're done. And I can take this tool, if you like, and move it up by 100. So there's the path. Let me spin around now. Where's my orbit tool? Here it is. And we can orbit around. So it becomes really easy to, by separating out some layers, it becomes a really easy thing to build a 3D model. Now, if you have in your SketchUp folder some models of a car in this instance, a model of an urn, it becomes a really easy job to place entities into this drawing and we'd hope to give you some models of some of these species used in this design to flesh out the design. When it's all done and dusted, you just hide the image layer or remove the image. So I hope that shows that it's very easy to make your 3D model in SketchUp. The free SketchUp can be used so that keeps your cost down and you can show these sorts of images to your client. It's an interesting combination, I think, of an image file with a SketchUp information, a SketchUp model. Well, here's the result of a few minutes' work, and uh, we're, we're building a model of this uh, front entrance that I think can be quite useful to the client about what you have in mind.